A judge is ordering the Division for Children, Youth and Families to release an unredacted case file to the plaintiff's lawyers in this case. There will be an order that will tell us to produce documents and will provide guidance on what, if anything, should remain confidential in those documents. The lawsuit alleges that DCYF allowed the biological parents of two young girls to have unsupervised visits with them in 2013. The parents are now serving 25 years to life in prison after pleading guilty to sexual abuse and production of child pornography. According to the plaintiff's lawyers, this case file includes the details of what happened. The, the, all the uh, nuts and bolts of the case, who did what when, who saw what when. The suit names Easter Seals and court-appointed special advocates of New Hampshire as well. The judge also made a request for more information about a quality assurance report conducted by DC. CYF. The report is an analysis of their programs that was conducted after the incidents occurred. The legislature has passed a statute that protects quality assurance programs from, from discovery, both indirect and direct discovery, so it's a very broad privilege. And of course, usually they take statements of, of people about that, facts that are not necessarily going to be in the file are in there, and it's our position that you cannot privilege facts. The judge requested that lawyers from DCYF provide more information about that report before making a decision on whether the information can be kept private or not. Live in studio, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.